When I got home, soaking and heavy, the clock clapped its hands. I was hoping you'd bring me flowers from the last grave you buried your mind. I was hoping you'd at least remember to kiss me first. You simply smiled and shook your head so that your hair, silly and waving, rambled over your forehead like surrendering flags. You, you make my blood self-conscious. There's a memory that I have of when I was in elementary school and my mom had to cut off my hair. One of the girls in my school had lice and I remember it wasn't even about whether I had it. She was just like, we ain't even gonna try to see if you have it and we're gonna cut it off. It was shocking and it definitely made me think a little bit about how the other kids would see me. And not only that, I think that part of it made me feel feminine, made me feel um, like a girl, made me feel like, or whatever I thought a girl was supposed to, to look like at the time. Right now, my hair, what you're seeing is, um, it washed after using the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair, like a deep conditioning mask. My routine is different, it depends on the day, kind of depends on um, whether or not I'm traveling or if I'm home. Usually if I'm home, I have a bit more freedom of how I would like to use my time. I will say that after washing it and putting it in, and leaving it in for about 10 minutes, it feels softer. Language has always been something that excited me. Even when I first heard Tupac, it wasn't the beat that hit me, it was his voice. It was the way he spoke. It was, when I hear Maya Angelou, right, it's not just the words, it's the way she speaks, it's the, it's the, the the spirit she puts into a word. I became enamored with that and amazed and spent a lot of time trying to be a poet, whatever that meant, and write and read a lot. I won competitions, I did stuff at you know poetry venues, and the only poet I could say that I knew who was really big at the time was a poet by the name of Saul Williams, and he became kind of like a mentor. But he was, you know, he's a man and he's awesome. He's a black man, great poet. Saul Williams is a great poet. But there wasn't any other female poet that was at his stature. It is roughly like 1, 1 1.15. Just came back from taking our dogs to the dog park. It was very hot outside and sticky. It almost uh, rained a little, drizzled. Um, they're a handful. Our dogs are quite the handful, so running after them was a uh, fun, interesting, and my hair looks pretty good. I think the frizz is under control. I think that frizz gel that I put in there was nice. I'll just give you guys a little view, see what you think for yourself. This is the midday curl. Through voicing um, my own in, uh, truth and, in, and, and my own stories, I give permission or I allow or I, I create ways for other women to feel comfortable or open to speaking their own truth. And I give another example of what women can be in the world. I think about my, my little sister, you know, I think about my mom and, and the other, my aunts. I think about the ways that they've used their stories and their struggles to, to show us what not to do. And I think that there's not enough of like what you can be doing in the world. There's room for women to take unconventional paths towards their dreams and, and to feel very confident in that and that there, will, there are other women who will support and follow. And uh, I feel like I empower women by being a woman who follows her dreams. This is what it looks like at 6.45 p.m. on a Saturday. Usually around this time, probably either home writing or um, at a reading, yeah, reading poetry. And um, didn't really do anything else to my hair. The only thing that I did put in my hair was the Briogia oil. I think the product worked well. My hair is curly and fluffy and soft and looking good. Being natural is empowering because it brings into question what is unnatural. 
natural is is has been defiant has been is a is a is a representation of resistance and also a, a, a reassertion of of identity because i don't think the world really knows about us because we don't even know about us and so i think being natural is the journey towards discovering what it means to be carefree to let your hair grow in every part of your body what does that look like there's no one way to be a woman but i think a natural woman is a beautiful way to live in the world. Hey y'all, thank you for watching and supporting us every single week. For more Did Y'all See, click here. For celebrity interviews, here. And for our comedic series Relationship Hacks, click here. And as always, be sure to subscribe.